Payday lenders offer short-term, high-interest loans to consumers, using the borrower's paycheck or checking account information as collateral. The growth of payday lenders in the United States has skyrocketed over the past several years, exceeding that of both McDonald's and Starbucks. Opponents of the industry often accuse payday lenders of targeting vulnerable low-income or minority groups and trapping them in a cycle of debt with what critics call exorbitant interest rates. The issue has been hotly contested by legislators in Virginia seeking to regulate the industry. A recent Capital News Service study found that payday lenders overwhelmingly cluster in low-income regions of the state, with the highest density occurring in the areas surrounding Portsmouth, Norfolk, and the counties around Tazewell in southwest Virginia. In Richmond, the state's capital, the highest number of stores per 1,000 people occurs on West Broad Street in the 23230 zip code. The area is marked by a higher than average percent of people living below poverty, and a median household income well below the state average. Car title lenders also dot the landscape. The unregulated industry is emerging as the next target of civil activists and legislative opponents in the Virginia General Assembly. For Capital News Service, I'm Sarah Griffith.